Hey guys, this is Gunnar Peterson, strength and conditioning coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, pandemic, we're all in this, but we are gonna come out of this better and we are gonna come out of this together. I put together a little workout you can do at home. I got some household items here. If you have weights or, uh, or bands or, or anything else at your disposal, by all means use it. Uh, be creative, more than anything, get the work done. Uh, I put together seven moves. I saw this as a seventh game, game seven of a series because um, that's about where we'd be right now. Although I don't know anybody would take us to seven. We are pretty good this year, right? God, that's a hardworking team. Uh, I was supposed to drop some Laker tidbits to you. Um, I'm going to tell you this is one of my favorite things of the year, but also watching LeBron uh, dominate this season uh, in his 17th year is it's special to, to see that and, and be witness to that. So um, as Laker fans, I'm sure you guys all have memories and things of this year. We are going to bring this back, and we are going to be better and stronger than ever. So first thing I want you to do, shoulder width apart, abs are tight, shoulder roll to the front, five, six, seven, eight, whatever it feels right. You should have some music on. I would tell you that I'm pumping something pretty hot right here, probably not for public consumption, but I do have my Beats headphones in, and uh, if I weren't worried about these neighbors, I'd put it on my pill, but now bring it across the chest this way. I'm always worried about the neighbors here, you know how they get. And I want you to rotate side to side. Let the hips go and let the arms go. Draw the abs in as you pass center line. Draw up and in, nice and tall. Five or six on each of these. Keep it even. Now, one foot forward, scoop down and reach up. You're on the heel, then you're on the ball of the foot. So heel, ball of the foot. Heel, ball of the foot. You should feel that stretch down the hamstrings. Heel, ball of the foot. Other side, big scoop, now something to balance on, I'm going to use my imaginary friend here, little bend, pull up, quad stretch, table, chair, whatever you have, I want you to stretch a quad, don't pull the knee back, drive the hip flexor forward, keep the leg straight, stretch down the quad front part of the leg, other side, Hold, stabilize. Keep the knee driving down towards the floor. Perfect, last one. Cross over at the feet. Reach down and reach around. Exhale, drop the shoulders, let the head hang. Other side. Switching, cross it over. Straight down, reach around. Tidy bend at the knee, hold that bend. Let the weight drop forward. Other side, last one. Sink nice and low wherever you can go on this. And pry open, a little pressure on the inner thighs and your elbows. Rock back and forth, you should feel the hips open up. Let the knees dip forward slightly, open up at the ankles. And then tip forward. Roll the shoulders down, now curl up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back, shake it out, exhale. Are we ready to get this? So I have water bottles, large, medium. A gallon of water weighs 8.3 pounds, so work backwards from there. Obviously half a gallon, 4.15. And some paint you might have at home, soup cans, sugar bags, a towel, uh, cardboard boxes for some of the extension work we're gonna do and medium sized liter bottle. A liter is a kilo, which is 2.23 pounds. Do the math from there. You have stuff at home, I promise you. Even if you don't have weights, you can find this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get, to start with, paint. Easy enough. If you have soup cans, use soup cans. I want you to keep these up at ear level, rear lunge, and as you lunge back, press up. So it's gonna be simultaneous, press up. Right there. Think about what we're working here. You're getting shoulders, you're gonna get glutes, you're gonna get quad. You're also gonna get a ton of core work by pressing the weight overhead where the weight is at a distal point far away from the body. Huge core recruitment. You wanna think about working the body in multiple planes of motion, right? Not everything is straight ahead in life. Not everything is a straightforward line to the championship. There's some bumps in the road, some lateral movements, which is what we're gonna add now. Side lunge, lateral lunge. When you come up to center, 
curl it. So you're going to get legs, core, biceps. Nice tight grip on whatever weight you're using. If you want to up that, it can go right here. Now, not only do I have more weight, but I have some instability, which creates different firing patterns in the muscle, so you become better all around. If they fire better, different firing patterns, different recruitment, you are more complete and really less likely to be injured. Unstable work is huge in the functional training world. Any trainers out there will talk about that. Probably more than you want to hear, but buzzword, we got to use it. Perfect. Drop them down if you need water, perfect time to hydrate. All right, now I want you to open up the shoulder girdle. Take a towel. Oh, that's cute. I wonder where I got that. Split stance, little bend. Take it up and over and down. Keep a tiny bend at the elbows, up and over and down. So three types of contractions, right? You continue doing that. There's the concentric, the shortening of the muscle if we're using a bicep curl as an example. The eccentric, the lengthening, and then there's the isometric or the static where you're controlling it that way. When we're down here, isometric contraction, a ton of core work. Switching. Up into the back. Keep the chest high. Don't let it cave in. Stay up. Posturally, you should feel this rear shoulders. If you think about, like, if I were going to go dunk, I always wonder, when you go dunk, am I supposed to look back at the ball, or am I supposed to look at the... That's a whole other set of questions. All right. So you did your split stance, probably 8 to 10 reps each time. Shoulder girdle is open. I want you to come down to the floor, extend the legs, you're on the heels, little break at the knee, take a moderate weight, gallon of water, 8.3, 8.34 pounds maybe, whatever you have, I don't want you to bring it to the back, think about putting it in your back pocket and then rotating into your back pocket. Key on this is that your head and shoulders follow the weight, try to see it. We're not looking for this, we're looking for that and that. Your cue is, as you get to the center, draw the abs in. You're leaning back just enough to feel them engage. Side, side. We're going 20 reps. Stay on it. Depending on what you're listening to on your beats, you should stay on the beat. Makes it easier. Can you guess what song I'm hearing? No chance. Now I can tell you. No chance. Perfect. So look at what we just did. Hit a water right now. Perfect break. When we were up, you got sagittal plane. That's the front to back. Then you got frontal plane. That's the side to side. Right there, you got transverse plane. That's rotation. You can work all your movements, different degrees, different angles of those, but the planes of motion are key. Have enough of cardboard. I mean, it's not like my wife hasn't had a package coming to the house every single day. I know, just essentials, I'm sure. Uh, we're gonna go into ab extension. It's an athletic move. The abdominals don't work just in crunching, just in flexion, they work in extension. If you think of a player either inbounding a ball or catching an errant pass, not that any of our guys would ever throw an errant pass, right? All those passes that they look at here, that was to make sure they were picked off by the defense. I just know the level of professionalism and accuracy that our players have. Here's what I'm looking for. Knees are right below the hips. Don't let the hips drop back and keep the toes in contact with the ground. I want you to extend and draw back. When you come back, it's like a Halloween cat, round up. Don't come back and sit back and recover. Your body naturally wants to go there. It's not lazy, it's not cheating. That's your body's natural protection mechanism. But I'm looking for you to try to short circuit that. So 
out, draw. I'm so glad I cut the yard this weekend. And go where you can go. If you can go all the way out, great. But if you go down and you need to draw back early, I'd rather have you go into partial extension and keep the abs engaged than go all the way out and drop down. Two times. One time. Beautiful. From there, you can push the uh, paper to the side. We're gonna drop down, we're gonna go into what's called a Superman. Arms are gonna come up, legs are come up. Your thought is, how little of your body can you leave on the ground? So, it's like a, a V up for your lower back. If you feel tomorrow, or even during this, my lower back's tight, there's a muscle group back there, erector, erector spinae. It's the antagonist for the abs, right? So it has to work. You should feel sore. It's not an injury. Trust that it's not an injury. Commit to it. You're out. If you want, you can take the towel out or you can take a band to keep the arms wide. Raise up, easy down. How little of your body is on the ground when you're at the highest point of the movement. Raise up, raise up. See why it's called a Superman, right? I should have Dwight doing these. They just illustrate it so much better. Let it contract. Be comfortable with the contraction. Perfect. Last move. Game seven. You're on your back. If you're on a hardwood floor, you can put the towel out out the yard, cardboard, drop down, knees together, extend the legs, and curl them in, and bridge up, slowly out, so you're working hamstring, in and up, in and up, Draw up, drive the hip. You don't want this. You want to make sure you come up and you bridge. Drive the heels hard into the ground. Last one. Perfect. So, seven moves, seven game series. That's how to remember it. You can go through it again. You can find it uh, on Instagram. And from there, we're going to give you a cool down. So first thing I want you to do, drop down into that split stance. Now, knee to the ground, instep of your foot down, drive the hip forward, stretch all the way up the quad into the hip flexor. Now, hands down, Spider-Man stretch, bring the knee up, and pry a little bit. Take the knee forward to the toe. Knee down, instep down. Bring the opposite arm across the quad, palm up. Pushing down, open up, stretch down the biceps that you worked at our second move. Flip it over, rotate the wrist, keep the hips squared. Now tuck the foot in, heel to knee, opposite knee forward. Now scoot your back so you have heel to hip and extend and drop it down. Think about lengthening from toes all the way to your fingertips. Walking back and forth till you get there. And switching. Other foot forward. Rock it. Drop the hip forward. Now come up. Prying back and forth. Let that knee rock. Down, arm across, palm is up. Fingers need a stretch, especially if you've been on a keyboard all day. 
or even if you've been working that remote all day, you know how tight that gets. I know some of you out there. Turn it over, work the wrist. Now come up, tuck the heel into the knee, put it down, and now lengthen the back foot. You'll feel one side naturally more comfortable than the other. The key is, if you're here, I'm not mad at that, but I want you to work on rotating that hip over, squaring it off, extend. Now coming up, you're gonna go into a frog stretch. So put the heel, the soles of the feet together. Control this, we don't want any errant uh, knee movement. Just rock it back and forth. You wanna open up inner thighs, groin area, especially for athletes if you think about, you hear all the time someone, had, I mean not on our team, duh, but you hear all the time so-and-so had a groin strain. These guys work so hard to avoid injuries. You should do the same. Now, knees in, drop it back, drive up, drive up, you'll feel the stretch down the tibialis, especially if you are in work shoes or heels, and then rock back from there, wherever you can go on it, knees coming in, and then come up, tip forward, drop back into that original squat you had, pressing out. You'll probably notice that you were wider than you were at the beginning of this. And then tip forward. Tailbone leads the movement. One vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders back. Shake the fingertips out. Give yourself a hand. That's a seven game series workout. Seven moves, household items. You can find it on Instagram. Towel, water, cardboard if you need it for outside bag of sugar, soup can, paint cans. You have all this at home. Let's come out of this together, guys. Thanks for joining. I hope you had some fun.